Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a few different pots that you can use for your seedlings. Now the first I'm going to show you a couple of pots that are already pre-made. Then I'm also going to show you how to um, make your own pots. So you can purchase individual pots just like these ones I'm showing you here. And they're really good for large seeds such as your pumpkins and zucchinis and, and things like that. You just put one or two in each pot and they have a really good um, amount of space for them to grow their roots in before you want to transplant them out. The thing that I like to do best, especially for my smaller seedlings, is to use old strawberry punnets. <laughs> and they have holes in the bottom and the lids often can be used as a tray. Just check if there's holes in the, the um, tray as well. And um, they've got a nice depth there so you can use them um, for quite a long time. They get a nice established root system before you transplant them out. Love these for tomatoes, lettuces, and all of those little seeds, capsicums, and all of those sort of ones. So they're my favorite, they're my pick. <laughs> they're the ones that I use all the time. The other thing I do is I actually make my own pots. And this is a great um, way to use up any paper that you have around the house. You can use whatever paper you like. And um, a couple of things that I'd like to say just about the different types of pots as well. Firstly, if your pot is porous in any way, it's going to draw water away from your roots. So you just need to be mindful and water them a little bit more often. The ones that are made um, from that cardboard-like material um, or coconut husk and all of those um, compostable ones, they draw water away from the roots. So just be really mindful of that and make sure that soil stays moist, not just the pot itself. Terracotta can also take away a little bit of moisture from your, um, your plants as they're growing. When we're looking at making them from paper, same deal again, we just gotta make sure they keep that soil moist um, so that the roots can keep growing and your plants can thrive. So I'm just using some scrap paper here. Um, you can use whatever paper you like. These ones will um, degrade over time and that's fine. You can actually plant this whole thing in the garden. Um, you can use pretty patterns, it can be newspaper, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, there's a few different ways you can use it you, um, to do this as well. So I've actually got here, it's a pot maker um, and I'll be, this is the one I'll be using today. You can also just use a glass um, and wrap it around the glass. You'll see using this exact same principle um, if you don't want to grab a pot maker yourself. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be wrapping this uh, piece of paper around the pot maker or around your glass, making sure you leave some at the end so that you can then make the base of your pot. So we're just going to wrap this around. It doesn't have to be too tight nice and easy and then the pot maker that I've got it actually has a little hole there um, so that when we press it into here it, um, it makes a nice base. If you're just using a glass you just fold it all over and squash it down. So I'm going to fold all of that in and I'm just going to press it into my pot maker. And there we have the base right there and when we pull this out we have a nice little pot there. Now when we're filling these with soil and I've got my um, soil here. This is my seed raising mix. We want to make sure we fill it right to the top. The reason for this is the more soil, the more nutrients we have available to our little seedlings. And also, it's all going to compact down as you water it. So we just fill it right to the top. And there we have a little pot full of soil ready to go. And I've got a couple more over here. There's also another... Uh, pot maker. This one's just uh, like a piece of poly pipe and once when you do this one you wrap it around and then you can scoop up your soil just using the, the piece of poly pipe itself. So that one's really handy also. The other thing you can use is toilet paper rolls. If you want you can recycle these. You can put a little piece of newspaper over the bottom just so that the soil doesn't fall through um, or you, if you don't move it <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. So um, actually um, fill them with soil where you're going to put them on a little tray and they'll be fine like that as well. Um, you can label these straight on the cardboard with what you're going to be planting and cardboard is going to absorb some of your water so make sure that you keep that water up to your plants.